For my wrongs, I have just begun. Ain't, ain't no mercy. Ain't, ain't, ain't no mercy. What's up, guys? Ant C123 here, coming back at you with another video. Today is my 50th video, and I'm gonna do a draw my life. Draw my life. Not just because of the fact that I want to do a draw my life to, so you guys know me better and like know what I've been through and know the struggles that I've gone through and like what I've done like hobby wise, but also because it is my 50th video and I just think it'd be a good 50th video, you know. So anyway, we're gonna get started right, right away and here we go. So once upon a time, young Aunt C one two three was born. And I was born on January 24, 2003 in the uh, Cincinnati Children's Hospital. And it was it was a, a decent birth, you know. I, I had the umbilical cord wrapped around my neck. So they my dad cut that. And that happened to my little sister, too. Like, it kind of ran in the family. I don't know. But anyway, when I was one years old, I developed this disease called eczema. And it it's like... A skin, it's a skin disease. It's a thing where, like, your hands get all, they start breaking out and stuff, and that, and it doesn't go away, but it's not contagious. Like, I just have to do a lot to fix it and stuff, and I get cuts on my hands, like, randomly get cuts, like, not from me scratching or anything, but it does itch a lot. And it hurts a lot, and I just gotta, you know, just gotta work through it, though. Anyway, when I was two years old, I started playing soccer for the Norwood Hornets, and... That was a great thing. I love soccer. I love soccer so much. Like, it's where I go to when I'm struggling or something. But, yeah. Anyway, when I was about three years old, I started at MOH, Montessori Open House, uh, in Ohio. Still in Cincinnati, Ohio. I've always been in Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, I, that was my preschool. I loved the teachers there. I had a, I had a friend named Ray, uh, Robin, uh, Robin, she was a really nice person, and back then, like, she was probably my only friend when I, throughout preschool and kindergarten, and then, well, I finished preschool two years, uh, I went through it two, two years, two, or three and four, when I was five, I started first grade at Sands Montessori, where I pretty much didn't have any friends, like, I had a few, but I got picked on, you know, I, I, it just wasn't nice. The teachers didn't like me. I was getting bullied all the time because of my eczema, because of my height. I was getting called names like, like alligator skin or, or grandma hands and stuff like that. So anyway, when I was six, I started playing football, which I really loved, but I wasn't the best at because I'm small. I was a cornerback. I played for four Seals Gators and I was not that bad actually. Like thinking you you probably think my size I'm not that good but wasn't that bad. Anyway, when I was seven years old, I uh, met this kid named Anthony DeGreen, which is in a, he's in a lot of my vlogs, and he really like no joke helped me through a lot of my struggles. Like it's hard to find friends like that, you know. And we we fight all the time nowadays, but we're still we're still like brothers, man. He's literally like my brother. Shout out to you, DeGreen. Anyway. We don't, we don't need to shout right now. Um, so yeah, when I, uh, at, I met him at Camp Burns, which is a place that I love to go. It's a week-long camp where you stay overnight for a week, and it's just a great thing that I love. It's just I love to do it. Like, I, I always get along with those people. They love me. I love all those people, and just, yeah. So when I turned, uh, then I turned eight, and it was still really bad at school. Didn't get along with anyone. I mean, I got decent grades, but the teachers hated me, and they mostly failed me, and that happened up until, like, 11, when I started at SEPA. At SEPA, I still got bullied until 6th grade, but when I was 11 and got there in 3rd grade, I, or not 11, 10, sorry, 10 in 3rd grade, I was great in school, I had the best teacher ever, the 3rd grade year was my favorite year, because actually, 3rd grade was the year that I did not get bullied, 3rd grade year, was literally awesome, because my, I love my teacher, he was the best guy in the world, um, just amazing person, so funny, always had a new story to tell, you know, he loved me, I loved him, and, uh, yeah, then fourth grade comes, and the bullying comes back, and it's, it just wasn't fun, you know, I 
by then I developed depression and it just it really killed me because when I look back it she's not something I wanted to have but it, it's it's gone over now uh, I also have ADHD so like I take meds for that but anyway so like fourth grade through sixth grade I had great grades like really good grades in every subject and then seventh grade comes and I was sort of getting bullied but not really I'd met so many great people by then like throughout those years I have met so many amazing people so many nice friends being in an art school it's really nice to be there because of the fact that people understand you and they're not judgy like there's no there's not a lot of people at our school that judge but anyway so Met all these people in seventh grade really wasn't good. I was I skipped free algebra because the teacher thought I was smart enough. So I went directly to algebra and I didn't know anything at all. And now I'm in geometry now eighth grade, I'm in geometry. Still playing soccer. Uh this is my twelfth year. Twelfth yeah, twelfth year. Um and the teacher uh I don't think the teacher really likes me at all. But I'm not good at geometry either. I mean, I've been getting pretty good grades in there li lately on tests, but, yeah, it's not my thing. Math used to be, but now it's not. So, anyway, now why I started YouTube. Basically, I started YouTube in 8th grade, which is this year. Well, I kind of had one before, but it didn't really work out. But, anyway, the reason I started YouTube is because I saw this guy do a, a Draw My Life. He was just talking about um, his life. It wasn't Draw My Life, but without the drawing part. So, he was talking about his life and how he started YouTube and why he started YouTube, when he started YouTube and all that. And it just really was made me think, you know, I could be doing that and I could, like, I feel like I could, should put myself on camera because you never know when you're going to be, you never know when you're going to get discovered for anything, you know? But anyway, yeah. So, also, another thing I started when I was two was snowboarding because I love that. Snowboarding and skiing. I actually got sponsored lately by Grep Gloves and Proteus clothing which are two great companies two amazing companies the guys that work for them are so nice so great so much great people so yeah but I've pretty much just been living life lately you know not getting bullied been great for me but yeah that that's the story of Aunt C123 and his juicy pair of life anyway that's gonna end off this video make sure to leave a massive thumbs up comment Subscribe and peace. I'm out.